a little bit hard for me to give you advice, but ultimately you just... Akhirnya kita jadi main. Udah, kayak cuma ngomong-ngomong bahas-bahas gitu doang, Minor. Gua pulang. I love you. I love you. So, the, the rest of their life... Tiga, dua, satu. Let's go cerita. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back again di Chalpa pada Jet. And of course, as you see, there's some musi, uh, musi sampai salah gitu kan. Ada musi di uh, sebelah gue dan kita bakal langsung ngobrolnya sama musi tentang karirnya dari seorang musi. Please welcome musi. Hello musi. Hey, hi. Hello. I'm good, I'm good. Okay, yeah. you're good. Yep, I'm fine. Okay, so how's Dota Dota life in your uh, daily life right now? Because I see you're not playing as a as a player again right now. Yeah, but I, I, I still playing a lot uh, mm -hmm. in pubs and watching a lot of uh, replays. Also, um, just my daily routine like exercise and watch, uh, reading some book. That's it. <laughs> okay, so just like a daily life of normal people, I think. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so okay, let's uh, let's start with the with the cliche uh, question. I think you you start your uh, your Dota 2 career. I think it's back in the 2011. Is that right? Uh, no, no, it's way more earlier than that. Oh, really? Can you tell yeah. uh, the story behind it? I I think it's like I start my daughter since I was uh, I was when uh, I think I was like thirteen or wow twelve. I, I forgot like yeah. Okay. Is, back then it's Dota one, right? Yep. Yeah, and okay. then I I never stopped playing oh. even until now. Wow! <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so you just love Dota so much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love the game. Okay, yeah. when you when you start to pick the the game uh, for your uh, like a hobbies maybe or maybe right now it's become a career, right? But yes. uh, what's make uh, what's makes you choose Dota back in the day? I mean, there's a lot of game, right? Uh, back in the day when you when you when we were young, uh, there's a Counter Strike, there's a, a Dota, yeah. Dota, uh, Dota One, and also Starcraft. Maybe why Dota, Mushi? Um, I think it's because that uh, I play I play many many different kind of the game mm -hmm. but I, I still love Dota because I, um, how do I say maybe Dota is just uh, one of the something that I couldn't say uh, like I don't know how to say uh, describe it like uh -huh. but it's just a just a very different game um, than the others but at first I'm not really good at the FPS game so I'm not gonna go <laughs> FPS Pro okay. uh, I play some CSGO I play some Valorant but just for fun <laughs> oh, okay just for fun yeah. okay Yeah, so, and also the mm -hmm. uh, and also the Dora is more like it's, it changed my life. Oh, it, it changed my life. So I I just feel that I uh, this is something that I want to be continue until mm -hmm. yeah I, until the future. I don't know when. <laughs> All right. But for now, I still love it. Okay, yeah. until now, Mushi still love Dota, guys. Same as same as me, I think. And yep, yeah, uh, you start your professional Dota 2 team. It's with Orange yep. Esports. Is that right? Um, or you have any other team? Yeah, really. no, I, I before that there's uh, many other teams, but oh. like uh, in in I think in the, in the first international, uh, yeah, it's orange. It's orange, okay. So yeah. uh, mm -hmm. you become the first Southeast Asia player and also team that finished in the top three the international 2013. What do you feel back in the day? Like uh, I know you guys uh, defeated by uh, Navi, one of the strongest team back in the day, but you guys are putting a lot of uh, good performance, I think, back in the day. How do you feel? Just I, I just can say that like uh, feeling pretty good because like uh, we because everyone just like think Southeast Asia is no no competitive, right? But like uh, to be honest, we we put a good show, mm -hmm. and just I just feel that uh, too 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 bad that we we, we kind of uh, lost mm -hmm. in the third place. But I uh, overall result, I think we are pretty happy about it. Okay, okay, yeah. and yeah, after you finish as a top three at the the international 2013, you separate uh your your path with with, with the Orange Esports, and then you join Team DK, and yes. What is exactly your mindset back in the day? You you uh, you are leaving your Southeast Asia region and then joining this uh, maybe the strongest China team back in the day uh, at 2014, yep. and joining like creating a super team. What are your mind uh, yep. mindset of uh, back in the day? Uh, my mindset is just like um, I I wanted to win championship match right, mm -hmm. and and yeah, it's uh, back in the day. 
many many Southeast Asia player that that actually don't don't like the way that I I I lead the team. Oh. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Mo- to be honest, even until now, I still feel kind of a uh, sad, uh, because many many players that their current success is because they couldn't step out of their comfort zone, right? Mm-hmm. I want just want to, wanted to be in the comfort zone. Mm-hmm. So especially when when I'm a captain, I need to be a uh, responsibility to my sponsor, to my to my teams, right? I mm-hmm. I couldn't let that happen, mm-hmm. right? So. But so uh, for the long run, I in South Asia for quite a while before I go to China. Mm-hmm. So I think maybe it's just um, it's just good for me to try something new. So I go I go to China okay. for for one year. For one year. So yep. uh, is it uh, just only one year at the at like you know uh, you you guys just only one year with the team DK and also after that uh, the international back in the 2014 team DK also like mm-hmm. semi disbanding because there's no big name joining uh, team DK is it only just for one year campaign or or just it didn't work out and team DK doesn't want to continue um, after the years we consider um, we, we have many champions mm-hmm. but uh, we, we just uh, we just couldn't win in that the international right yes and after the lose at the, the international mm-hmm. we we kind of uh i, I want to back in south asia yeah because um uh, and 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 lanem wanted to retire mm-hmm. and boarding wanted to retire right so mm-hmm. there's only two player left mm-hmm. and they just decided to just uh, just dis- disband after okay. yeah okay. so for for myself it's more like uh i played in Ch- uh, Ch- china for mm-hmm. one year Although never never get uh, any TI good result, mm-hmm. but I have a uh, many good achievement in there. But it just couldn't find me happiness in there oh. because I, yeah, just for myself maybe I I wanted to. Um, it's different that when you fighting in your re- fighting for your region, right? Uh-huh. Yeah, I know happy is uh, happy is good. Uh-huh. Uh, but I uh, um. You know, I'm, 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 I'm just, I just feel that living in the other region, living in the uh, other team, uh, especially it's not on your region, mm-hmm. and you're not fighting for your region is um, maybe not so good, right? Yeah. Can yeah. I? Yeah. Yeah. You, you, you lack of like a more, more, more spirit to, to, to compete for your region, right? Um. Yeah. Kind of, but it's more like that time. Uh. After we lost in the TI4, uh, you know, my friends, uh, they just. Come back to come back to me and ask me, uh, come, come, let's back to Malaysia and let's uh, make a team again. You know, yeah. Okay, okay. Uh, everything just combined together, so I just uh not couldn't stay in the China anymore. Okay, so because yeah. I mm-hmm. always remember how you guys come back from three point deficit. You you yeah. you must be remember about that, right? That you down to yeah. three points at the best of seven, and you guys just um, what do we call it? Uh. Like just bounce back. Yeah, yeah. just bounce back. Yeah. Just bounce back from uh, three point deficit. Like that's almost impossible. But you guys did it. But that yeah. uh, that was the the most uh, memorable uh, things uh, when I see you again uh, on uh, on a twenty fourteen when you play uh, on a team DK. But let's move on on a on a twenty sixteen. You joining uh, mm-hmm. sorry twenty fourteen. You joining a team Malaysia. Is that right? Uh, yeah, after TI. Yeah, yeah after TI, you, you creating your uh, your team Malaysia back in the day, and you yeah. you put one new guy as a youngster, and and you say uh, this guy gonna be gonna be uh, much better uh, when he have time uh, in the future, maybe Kecik Imba, where where yeah. he is right now. I I think he's not playing Dota anymore. Oh. Like maybe playing some other game. Oh. Yeah. Okay. I, I'm not really sure. Like, so he, yeah. he's just like quitting. Yeah, he's just creating. Okay. <laughs> okay. So next step is joining Fnatic and you you creating yep. your own team like uh you put uh your your friends uh, basically to to play with you again. You you you, you bring Ohio, you bring um uh, maybe uh who else back in the day uh, when you put uh, uh first Fnatic in Southeast Asia? Uh KYXY? KYXY? Yes. Johnny yeah, if I remember. Um, yeah, Johnny, Johnny. Johnny too, yeah. Okay, Johnny. Yeah. So um In in that situation, like in Fnatic, we we saw a lot of uh, video about, uh, you know, the true side that uh, kind of show a different a different side of Mushi, right? And and everyone like, you know, uh, 
like semi hating you because you you have a different type of kind of leading the team like you said previously right mm. and is that the real you when you when you're leading the team um to be honest i i admit that i kind of uh I kind of uh, emotional back in the day, mm -hmm. but to be honest, I I don't think that I I because the first thing I want I, I I don't I don't like to hide myself I don't like to hide myself mm -hmm. even even the camera that putting on me mm -hmm. I want to just be myself you know all right like I think emotional um to leading the team is a uh, kind of a wrong thing mm -hmm. it's kind of a not not good but I but there's a uh, many others reason that others people don't know they just of course. look at the video and just look it right of but course. you know that um back in the day we have no coach right yeah and 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 we don't have anyone that uh that can like put them in the right path right yeah. everything is just players together yeah right mm -hmm. and you know that uh fanatic that uh they're sponsoring us and i need to be a responsibility to them right yeah i need to make the team to the right way and yep. and I, I i for my for myself i don't like to see people lazy and they're not being responsible to their job and mm -hmm. i hate it the most uh so this is why i say that uh many South Asia that many talent in yep. South Asia, but they just doesn't want to go out with their comfort zone right oh, and okay. we are playing the international mm -hmm. uh, everyone wanted to take a champion of course but if they doesn't want to put out effort make sacrifice mm -hmm. then why are you playing this game yeah and you are just taking a salary and just having 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 just having fun yeah <laughs> good, right yeah that's yeah. not the championship uh, mentality i think yes yeah okay so you become the first southeast asia team uh, to win a major back in the day in 2018 when you guys win a dota 2 asia championship 2018 with minaski how is it how, how you feel to become the first Southeast Asia team and maybe I correct me if I'm wrong guys uh, uh, for all the viewers uh, correct me if I'm wrong the first Southeast Asia player that win a major um, how do you feel to, to become the uh, the first one Musi? Um, the first thing I feel happiness uh, very happy that uh -huh. because we've been a champion right oh yeah of course. and the second thing that I, I'd be very proud of is uh is uh, I proved to many people mm -hmm. that South Asia can win championship <laughs> yeah. international. Yeah. Yeah. So I just I just hope that this message to bring out many many more people mm -hmm. that um telling them that uh South Asia is not a weak region. We just need the right way, the right path, then we can go do it. Okay. Because uh like I know you're you were happy, but uh when you. When you guys win the uh, win the uh, win the series on the on the grand final, you don't want to lift the trophy. You 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 give it to Isaac or maybe or uh, give it to the Japs maybe back in the day. <laughs> what is the reason? I mean, you are the captain, right? But you don't want to lift the trophy, the the sword of of the Tattoo Asia Championship trophy. What is it? <laughs> uh, for me, I, I I don't know about that. Uh -huh. But like uh, for me, I I don't treat myself a captain. Oh, okay. I just I I just feel that um with a team together I, I just feel that we need to take care of each other and i i don't i don't need the um, i don't need the trophy to mm -hmm. make me special you know oh, okay. i just i mean that uh, we are a team right mm -hmm. yeah we, we win together lose together it's just that it just feel that uh whoever leaves the trophy mm -hmm. it doesn't matter we the glory goes to the team goes to yep. it together okay yeah. that's a good mindset by the way bro and okay my next question is like uh like when you you finally realize you you don't want to be a player anymore and want to be a step down or maybe i don't know it's a step down or maybe step up uh for your uh esport career to become a coach uh, maybe it's the uh, it's uh this year mm -hmm. i i was still in a uh, smg mm -hmm. and then after that i left and i i kind of um decided that i want to be a coach mm -hmm. yeah it's not it's not like i don't have a uh, confidence to play i still I, I still got a high MMR in pub game, but I just feel, I just feel that when I be, being a coach, I I can do more. Wow. I can do more than more than a players, okay. and I know um, the coach job is um, very very important mm -hmm. compared to a players, right? It, we, we, because I tried many different way mm -hmm. back in the day that Minuski, uh, we have a DAC champion. Mm -hmm. It's also because uh, we have a 
good coach, right? Yeah. You have a 71. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, for me, it's just that like, if the players, um, we don't have five good players with a good captains, mm-hmm. and and then we don't have a coach, and then it's just very difficult to to make championship. Yeah. So so for me that I I set up as a coach, it's good for my current career, and also, uh, it's just good for the thing that I want to do in the future. Okay, and your last thing that you're coaching is a uh, TNC Predator, is that right? Yes. 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 Okay. So, uh, like, what happened with with TNC? I mean, like, we know TNC as a good team, as a as a great team from Southeast Asia, especially from Philippines, right? And yep. like, TNC not that strong in the twenty uh, twenty twenty uh, twenty twenty one uh, season for DPC. Not like you know, TNC uh, have a, have a time that nobody gonna. Uh, Qualified for from Southeast Asia except the NC, right? Like they, uh, they are the team that uh, cover um, guarding the uh, the gate of Southeast Asia. Nobody gonna gonna uh, gonna surpass the the TNC. But right now, like the NC, it's not uh, that strong uh, anymore. I mean, what happened with the NC actually? Because you are the coach, I I just want to know uh, what's the difference between uh, previous the NC and uh, the the last the NC that you coach it. Uh, okay, all all the all the time that uh, the first thing, all the teams is getting stronger and stronger, right? Of course. And and it's it's not just a TNC thing because uh, back in the day that the uh, TNC is strong is also because um, the three three of their course member teams uh Gabby and and Amel, right? Amel. And this three is the foundation of the team, and yes. the other two is just keep changing, keep changing, keep changing. Yes. Right. So. When they look for the right player, and they will start winning, okay. right? And they have a when they have a good coach, uh, Marsh, uh, they also start winning. But like, uh, just to be honest, like in in the side structure, everyone facing the same problem. Yeah. We don't have a good captains in 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 side structure. We don't even have a good coach in in side structure. Okay. And and right now, yeah, like there's a there's a more in side structure, right? The uh, the Sunbi and the Marsh, uh. I just hope that there's uh, many, many more that can bring the team to successful. Yeah, but um, this is also also the main reason that uh, I think back, uh, back in the back then in the TNC and current the uh, reason TNC mm-hmm. they picked me up um, during any major mm-hmm. and we we I I not even be on the on the land with them right mm-hmm. so all all the time it's just online for me even okay. the um, TI qualifier mm-hmm. so I think this um this is a problem that every coach um very difficult mm-hmm. things that coaching online is uh, just very very difficult difficult thing mm-hmm. and yeah I think it's just that the team is great but it's just maybe the time is just not enough. For, for them okay okay so before yeah. I'm uh, I'm asking about your uh, current situation right now what's the different playing on the Southeast Asia region and also the China region uh, Moshi from you as a maybe uh, maybe as a player or maybe as a coach mm, I think I think Southeast Asia is more like um, the kind of um, relaxing and but in in China they they treat it like um, like a very very serious thing wow they, they trade it all the time they they discuss all the time so it's a it's a i think it's more like a culture thing culture oh. very difference okay yeah. okay okay yeah. so so this is the 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 main reason why i invite you to to do this uh to this interview like so why boom esport i mean oh. it, you you must be uh have a lot of uh opportunity like a uh, proposal from any other teams right but uh why boom esport all right, so the the boom is what uh, why I choose boom is what mm-hmm. um I decided to 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 join boom is what even before the the TI finish mm-hmm. um mainly it's because of the players mm-hmm. and all the players that they got they trust me as a coach mm-hmm. and also and also like the players mm-hmm. and also the the owner of boom is uh, having me uh, talking a lot so mm-hmm. I think I think we we have, we will put a good work together all right uh, we can build a very good team mm-hmm. so even though after the TI yeah, I got uh, many other options as a coach as a player but I think uh, when I decided something I just go for it I, I don't I don't let any other thing to to make affect my decision okay okay then yeah okay so uh, I 
previously I'm, I'm talking with uh, pa- uh Paolo, uh, sorry, uh, with the teams. Uh, no, with Scamber and also with yeah. uh, the mid lane of uh, Boomy Sport, um, which okay. is I'm sorry, I forget who. who who's, current. Uh, yeah, the current. The, the current. Match. Hey, your patch. Uh, why I'm forgetting yeah. his name? Oh my god. <laughs> okay, so I'm talking with your patch and also with Scamber. Like you guys still don't uh, find the right uh, last person or the last missing piece that Boomy Sport need, and even the players still talking about. I don't know. We still don't. Uh, we still don't know uh, who's gonna. We who's we gonna pick? Like for position one or position five? Like is that so hard to find a position one in Southeast Asia right now, coach? Uh, I think I think it's, it's not. There's um many players in in, in South Asia, mm-hmm. but I uh, think it's not so. It's not kind of simple, right? Even though you high rank, mm-hmm. but that's make you a good player is doesn't mean it's like that. It's more like uh um many other things like um how do you work with um together with your teammates, mm-hmm. right? And your mentality stuff and your and your mindset mm-hmm. and 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 a lot of things beside the game okay yep. okay i got it so uh i know you guys must be having name i don't uh, i don't want to ask who's the last name or or who's the last player that gonna feel uh or maybe wearing the boom esport uh, jersey but uh can i know like is it position one or five that you guys gonna make a last decision player like it's five or one coach uh for me nothing is uh nothing is confirmed right okay but, i know uh, i know but for for right now we are we are looking for post five because uh Skim, Skim just decided that he he want to play, play as a carry one wow yeah because he 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 tell me that he can beat Yataro easily mm-hmm. he tell me he can beat the TI ten champion easily you know he, wow. he's confident to be better than him so why not then we just go for looking for post five right okay then yeah. fine this is kind of exciting for me because I'm a part of Umi Sport too but. Looking, looking at Scamber playing five, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's like the major player that that already yeah. uh, want to play as a support. That that's great. Yeah. But looking at Scamber playing position one, that's gonna be amazing. I think for Boomy Sport because he he's one of the best carry player from Southeast Asia. Actually, that's why he uh, he can play for Complexity back in the day, right? Yes. Yes. yes he's, he he can uh, play for Complexity uh, in uh, North America region and so on and yes. so on. And yeah, I think. Um, Boomy Sport gonna make a lot of different in this uh, in this new uh, DPC season, right? Uh, but yes. um, what about the aim? I mean, I know you guys want to go to TI. I know, I know that. I know, I know what our bosses want. Uh, for almost five years, creating this Boomy Sport Dota Two team, uh, he want to go to TI. But for like a short term um, goals, I mean, what do you guys wanna aim right now, Coach? Um, for me, for me, for many others players, for many others team that thinking, um, for the whole years, mm-hmm. the most important thing is just a uh, TI, right? Of course. But for for myself, like uh, I I I don't think um, I don't think that yeah, that's for others people, but for myself and mm-hmm. I I ask, even ask my team, mm-hmm. how do you like? How do you guys like? You guys want to work hard for the whole years and it's just gonna be super tiring and you're gonna work hard with every tournament and there's they they all yeah yeah they they just want it they just want to win everything in the whole whole years and the whole season okay yeah okay okay because for me like uh you can't just think about ti is the ti you know if you just having keep this kind of mindset and when you're already on the ti stage you're gonna perform different differently right of course so I think the mental and the mindset need to be trained, so you need to treat all the tournament, all the game is the same. Okay, I think that's it because the last part is most importantly because all of Boom Esports fans out there is like a curious: Are we gonna have a coach or maybe like a uh, more specific uh, question is like: Are are we uh, gonna have a good coach uh, this year? Like someone that we know already make a make an impact in Dota community as a player, as a coach, and yeah, we have it, guys. Mushi as a as a new coach from Boom Esports. Okay, so yeah, I think I just wanna uh, wish you good luck, coach, for the next year. I think uh, for DPC season 2021, 2022. I hope you guys back to the upper division and also uh, competing on a major or, or maybe minor. I don't know. Is there any minor for this year? 
I don't think so. I don't think so. Okay, okay. Then, yeah. yeah. I think that's it. Thank you so much for your time, Musi. I wish you good luck. Thank and you. You. yeah, stay safe. Stay healthy over there. See you next time, coach. Yep. Goodbye. Bye-bye. <laughs>